Hey guys, it's Jessica Radla from Glamour's Obsessed. We are on the red carpet at the 40th anniversary of the American Music Awards, and it is trivia time. True or false, the AMAs were created by Dick Clark when ABC's contract to present the Grammys expired. True. It's true. Good job. It sounds true. That is true. Good job. Because that sounds too legit. It's so detailed as it has to be true. It is true. Good job. Okay. What college do you go to? St. John's University in Queens. Very good. Magna Cum Laude graduate. Okay, I know it was created by Dick Clark. I don't know about the Grammys contract expiring, but I'm going to go with two. It's true. Good job. Okay. Michael Jackson and Donny Osmond were the first co-hosts of the AMAs. Dang, I want to say true, but I think it's false. True? Okay, true. Yeah, with conviction. I think it's true. Yeah. I would say that's false. It's actually true. Really? Can you believe that? I want to see that. Did they? I wasn't even alive when the first day maze happened, so I don't know that one. I don't know. I'm going to say, say false. It's true, actually. Can you believe that? I actually would love to see that. I'm going to have Jennifer Morrison, so she went to see it too. We should all have a viewing party and watch it together. I'm going to have to look it up, yeah. True. Did you know that or are you guessing? Definitely a guess, but once again, context clues. But you know what? You pulled it off beautifully. You really had conviction on yeah. that. I like that. In 1996, Shania Twain won Favorite Artist of the Year, but she left the award at the podium because she did not believe in the concept of a favorite artist. True or false? Oh, boy. That sounds so specific. It sounds like it has to be true. I don't know. But it doesn't sound like something she would do. You're right. She didn't do it. It was Garth Brooks that did it. Okay. <laughs> it's so specific, it feels like it could be true, but I'm like, that doesn't sound like her to me. Not that I know her personally, but... True. It's false. It's actually Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks? Yeah. That's awesome. That's, I, I think, I remember Eddie Vedder. Oh, no, I never mind. I'm thinking of the Grammys. I'm sorry. That's okay. I understand. It's a music show. That sounds like Shania. True. It's actually Garth Brooks. Oh, he well, left it. Sounds like him, too, actually. <laughs> sounds, yeah. It's definitely true. It's too detailed to be true. Uh, actually, it's false. It was Garth Brooks who left it at the podium. Should have known my man Garth. I just got off the phone with him. He told me they were asking that question. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm sure he did. Tell Garth I said hi. I okay, last sorry. question for you. Taylor Swift won the most AMAs in a single year with eight. True or false? Sounds like it's definitely true. She was on a Papa John's pizza box. True. That's false? I just... Oh, man, I just saw something on that. I think it's false. She's won a lot. Uh, maybe. Is there a maybe between true and false? False. <laughs> oh, no, it's false. You're right. You're so right. Oh, Woo! I think that's true because I think I was freaking out after she did. Well, she's won a lot, but it was actually Whitney Houston and Michael Jackson who's won the most in a single year, and they have eight. Well, they both deserve it for sure. Taylor does too, but, you know, I love Whitney. So it's like if you just guess true on all of them, you're at least going to get a 50. That's right. That's what just happened. That's right.